What's going on everybody? Ali here and welcome to my review of an anime movie that I've been waiting since August 22nd of uh, last year to watch online. Data Live Mayuri Judgment. Six freaking months. Data Live, it's my favorite anime like ever. I, I don't know why, I just I just love it. And when this movie came out, I was like really excited for it. For those of you who don't know uh, what Data Live is, Data Live is a story that um, it's basically centers around a guy named Shido who's not good at really talking to women. And eventually, there's these things called spirits that uh, they enter this world from a different dimension, like out of nowhere, and nobody knows why and they cause havoc and destruction and Shido's sister, he re she realizes that he has like a special ability to seal spirits powers for some reason that, I mean, for, for now he doesn't, he doesn't know why, but anyway so basically the story is about him meeting these spirits who are mostly women and he basically helped them fall in love with him and then the way to seal the powers is with a kiss if, only if the person is in love with him, only if the spirit is in love with him, then he, uh, kisses them, and seals the power. But, hold on, hold up. Just calm down. HOLD THE PHONE! I'm saying this because, just because I love the anime series Day to Life, does not, does not mean, like, by any means, I'm saying that this movie was just top notch. Because honestly, it wasn't. It was, I mean, most of it was a little, it was kind of bland, but I enjoyed it regardless. With the basics, we got from season one and two, we got all the spirits. We got Toka, we got Koturi, we got we got Yoshino, we got Shido, the main character, main dude. He's not a he's not a, a spirit, but you know, we got him, got Kurumi. We got uh, Yuzuru, Kaguya, Kagura, uh, we got Miku, and we got all the other uh, side characters. A lot, of, a lot of them did uh, little cameos, little like couple second cameos. It was pretty cool. Now, basically, like the first, I would say, like the first 40, 45 minutes of the movie, um, Shido has to go on dates with like all the all the spirits, except for um, Kurumi. She's like stalking in the shadows, doing some weird. Sh Throughout that, he keeps seeing this this girl, this certain person, like, everywhere they go. She, she, like, appears and then disappears out of nowhere whenever he's on dates. And the reason why he basically had to go on dates was because like, all the girls, like, anxiety um, and stress of, like, maybe he doesn't love me. Those feelings that they had started to, like, manifest themselves into, like, spirit... Uh, into this giant ball of like spirit energy above the city and for some reason only Shido can see it uh, I don't know why but anyways the um the spirit energy it manifests into this one person and her name is uh, Mayuri hence the name Mayuri Judgment on uh, the title first things first that song that Miku sings in the beginning it is like real catchy Animation wise, it was more of like the anime show, like the TV show, rather than like like a movie animation. It wasn't it wasn't a movie animation to me. It was more of, of like anime animation, like a TV show, which I was kind of bummed about. Um, but that was like the first 40 minutes, and then I think the last 20 minutes was like an epic, like amazing fight. 
And what I, what I didn't like about the movie was that um, Date Alive is about is about dating the spirits so they fall in love with you and then you can seal their powers with a kiss or whatever. But um, yeah, it was like it over accentuated like the dating and stuff. It was like forty minutes of that, but then like twenty minutes of an amazing fight. And I like I do like romance, but for me it has to have at least some good action like in between the romance and stuff or it's either it either has to be like some good action in between or consistent like comedy within it and for me the movie didn't do that it was like straight up 40 minutes of just dating and then 20 or so minutes of like awesome action um, the action, then when it was the fight, with like the laser that like completely annihilated a bunch of mountains in the background, that was a movie animation for me. And and when the lightning like struck the cliff, it was oh my god, it, that was that looked pretty damn awesome. And again, first forty minutes of like dating all the spirits, and then. Last 20 minutes, they had to fight an angel that goes havoc because of Mayuri's feelings. Because she's the manifestation of all the spirits, uh, of all the spirits, like, energies pulled into one person. So, naturally, she loves Shido, even though she has never, like, really talked to him or been with him or anything. And because of, like, her emotions... Um, her angel gets completely like messed up and everything and she has to try to fix everything But uh, she can't and that's when Shido and all this all the spirit uh, women um, Have to come in and help her now Don't get your hopes up Kurumi is in like I think like six or seven seconds of the movie if you're like a huge Kurumi fan but yeah, the one thing that um, was really cool is that uh Eventually, you'll see that Toka is going to be, like, a huge role at the end. And she's going to have a new badass, like, uh, battle armor. Like, princess armor. It's, like, it looked so it looked so cool to me. It was nice and refreshing to see, like, a new form of her. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and Toka. Not only she has a big role in the end or whatever. She has a new form or whatever. But, um, yeah, she is, she's my, by far, the fav my most favorite anime character out of anybody i don't know why i just love strong women it's like get me going baby yeah honestly it was a straightforward movie um it was a little little it fell a little flat to my expectations but inevitably i still had fun watching it um hopefully there's a season three of the show because i've seen season one and two and i would really like a third season yeah, I would give this movie around an 8 out of 10. Mainly because I'm kind of biased. If I if I wasn't like a fan of Data Live or anything and I saw this, I would have probably gave it like a 5 or, or no, I'd probably give it like a 6. But um you yeah, know, overall 8 out of 10. I I tried my I tried my best to enjoy it. I did enjoy a little bit of it. I did enjoy most of it. But, um, yeah, that's all for this review. Uh, thank you, everybody, for, thanks for watching. Like it if you liked the video. Comment down below if you saw the movie, what you thought about the movie. And if you haven't seen it, um, I hope I didn't spoil really anything. But, uh, it was basically the plot that I, that I said. And subscribe to my channel for more reviews, anime reviews, movie reviews, anime movie reviews, superhero movie reviews, convention reviews. Um, convention vlogs, uh, traveling lo vlogs, and stuff like that. So yeah, gentlemen, stay classy. Ladies, stay sassy. But most importantly, everybody stay nasty. Peace and love. See you later.